but don't smoke. Because, you know, that is the great Satan. I thought we were over that crap after 9-11, that we had our priorities in order. And why are the smokers still... The, you mean what? the non-smokers? Oh, why are smokers why being persecuted? Why are smokers persecuted? still the one pariah in a... Yeah, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't look at it that way. I mean, I, I, yeah, to be I honest, that's smoker, that whole... It's probably like the, 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 the tobacco companies that are being targeted, you know? So? Yeah, I mean, well, uh, to me, it's that, that, that's that whole truth campaign. And to me, all they're really doing is... They're trying to even the playing field in terms of providing that other aspect of information about what uh, the things that are in smoking. I mean, they talk about oh, this so arsenic in there. smoking's bad. You yeah. know, I haven't well, gotten well, that. It, well, it, was, wait, it wasn't that long ago that the tobacco companies just admitted that. So they, I, I just think most it's, of us it's start that other smoking, side. You know, about 12 because we see our friend do it and we think it's cool. You know, so I think it's only right that you, you know, give them a little of the truth about, you know, the other end of smoking. Like, okay, you started because of this, but this is what's in it. And, right, no, it's only and fair. Right. the point of the ads that ran during the Super Bowl was, was to save lives. So how, in any way, is that bad? Well, because, one... Got... Remind people that, that... Because I hate to tell wait you this. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait. I saw DMX lighten up before the show. And that's his choice to do. That he was can not do a that. cigarette. Yeah, that's... <laughs> it was a brown cigarette. Wait a minute. That's his it was a Tipperillo. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a I'm sure he's right. armed with all of the information about the I'm dangers sure he's armed. of... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm, I'm sure that he is... I'm sure he has all of the information uh, about the dangers of nicotine and the addictive principles that, that well, are involved in cigarette smoking, and he makes the choice anyway, but I don't see how educating the public further on exactly. the dangers of cigarette smoking yeah. is, is in any way Give them the bad. Option to make an educated yeah, I, I mean, choice. And they That's make really, right. those there's people no make, yeah. those people make oh, really, like, no inventive, downside. they make inventive commercials. Yeah. If you're gonna commercials. Still smoke, you'll smoke. Yeah, you know, truth, but at least you'll know what you're doing all the way. All those people, the truth thing is that they do really innovative commercials, they just bring out that other side. I mean, look, like you said, it's information. Who doesn't know about cigarettes? Well, until like five and years ago, the tobacco companies didn't know that smoking uh, causes well, cancer. But we okay? all... they just, didn't they just now admit that? Just... Yeah, but, but you know what? <laughs> right? but we, but JR, we... help me out, please. <laughs> but we all knew that. When they, yes, yes. They, uh, five or seven years ago, they all raised their hand and said, oh, we don't think smoking is a cigarette. Well, it was like the ghost in Hamlet. We knew it wasn't real. Yeah. Okay, right. they're the pusher, we're the user, we're in it together, okay? We're both lying to each other. We say we're glad to see you, pusher. You know what? We're, we're not glad to see you, we just got our drug. Yeah, I, but I think in any it's, sense, some people are going to get it the first time out. Like you said, some people are going to start, then they're going to stop. Some people, it takes a little bit longer. Like you said, it's a positive message. As long as it takes to keep giving that, I mean, if somebody's paying for it, I don't even think that's like taxpayer money necessarily paying Fire for that. Why you smoked? Oh, I smoked for 20 years. Yeah. When you, but did you start before the warning came out? Oh, yeah, I stopped 35 years ago. Well, you stopped. I was going with a girl of, when I was 14, and she said, if you take a drag of this cigarette, I'll let you put your hand on my breast. And I smoked for... <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. That's fair. I smoked for 20 years after yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was yeah. a rush, let me tell you. Yeah, yeah. And did every time you smoked right. felt like that, that, that first breast? Is that no, kind of what it, it was? Did. No, Reinforcement? No, no, unfortunately. But, but it is a terribly addictive thing. I mean, yeah. I know people who stop crack and heroin and everything that cannot stop tobacco, yeah, cannot yeah. do and it. I mean, I lost somebody but, very close to me, lung cancer. This is not so a pretty I. way to die. And so I don't see why, I don't see Someone how there's any, yeah, I don't yeah, see but, how anyways. there's any downside to oh. reminding the public that it's not in their best exactly. interest to pick but do you up a think, cigarette. Let me ask you this question. Do you think death is the absolute worst thing that can happen to you? No. Lung cancer is one of them, that leading to death, but it's a right. terrible death. And emphysema, oh. all that other stuff. It's Not the quality of life that's important. Yeah, yeah. Quality, of, quality of life. That's important. Right. Well, wouldn't that include personal responsibility and taking yeah. birth? Yeah, Isn't but it, you, you know, don't have any patience for people that don't accept personal only responsibility. Only mortals. I know. I know. I know. It comes I know. from knowing everything that's in it. I don't, know, don't but who doesn't protect... know everything that's in it at this point? You know, point? the thing about it is, and we all talk about it in the aftermath of 9-11, you talk about what America's all about. You know what? America is not only looking after those that are smart, we got to look after the stupid, too. Okay? <laughs> I mean, I mean I'm, I'm being serious. I mean, and, that, and that's what this is. You know, but not every particular it's, person, it's, but sometimes you got to keep telling people and the, telling people and telling yeah, And one day they're going to get it. And if they one day get it, Super then it'll be a message. Worth it. Okay? And, 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 also, you know, and there's a whole lot more well, stupid people but, in this country than smart people anyway. So we really got to look out for them. It was that's so important. hypocritical. They had these non anti smoking ads, uh, they had the anti drug ads, because, you know, that's all about I terrorism. I have no problem with that. And then they had, and then of course they have beer ads where nowadays all the beer ads, the message is, you'd rather have the beer 
than the hot chick. I mean, I didn't mind beer ads when the idea was, and it was stupid and wrong, but at least it was, I like think. If you got, have you had a beer right. industry, if, like, you get, if, you, yeah. if you get the, yeah, yeah. right. Now it's like, I'd get rather beer, have the bitches. girl. Anyone like, who's ah. ever been addicted to anything will tell you, the line you pass is when you'd rather have the drug right, right, right. than the per. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> That's when you got a problem. When you, wait, wait, when you, so, when so you, that, <laughs> what you saying I is when, 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 <laughs> when you'd I rather have the hooch than the cooch, that's when you, <laughs> that's when you got a problem. Is that, was it, it was worth the wait, wasn't right, it? Right, that was very good. Right. When okay. you'd rather, and, and so to me, that beer, those beer ads, and they all have the same idea, every beer ad is the same idea, yeah. that you'd rather have the beer than the girl. Then your nagging wife no, who it's always a hot wants you to chick. bone her all the time. Right, it's a hot chick What's that he would, that? she can't get, the, the hot chick can't get the yeah, guy she, yeah, she unless can. she has the beer. Right. Did he that's take an the beer? addict. That's, that's saying that you're, you're an alcoholic and you'd rather yeah, but, have the but beer. But those ads are there to sell the beer, yeah, right? right? And now, they're for and they're, the they're alcoholics. <laughs> the, you know, <laughs> but, you know, they're selling so sex, too, and they're trying to say, you know, if you drink Budweiser or X brand of alcohol, you will be sexier to the opposite sex, and so, therefore, you can attract, you know, X supermodel who happens to be appearing in the well, ad. People no. look a lot better once you've had about six beers, well, too. Yeah, you know? yeah. 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 <laughs> they're not yeah. so discriminating, you know. Yeah. <laughs> no, they're not saying that. Those are the old beer ads where you got the supermodel if you went to the Silver Bullet and ordered the right beer. Right, right. Now, now you don't want the supermodel because you get have the beer, beer and hang with your boys. Yeah. Right? Get the beer and hang with your boys. You want to hang out? I have changed. Right. It's alcoholic homosexual. <laughs> and then that's what we're advertising to. That adds up. So, so Actually, the... you know, George Michael is doing the new Budweiser campaign this year. I want you to know that. What's that called? <laughs> it's called You Gotta Have Faith <laughs> and a Bud in Your Butt. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. <laughs> uh, let's oh. talk about a little yeah. bit about it. Now, uh, you're great. I've Thank you. not heard your new one because I just got it, but I will. Uh, I, Larry, do you know anything about hip hop music? I I'm afraid not. I'm, right. I'm not a. Then I we're going to. What? <laughs> Can I, can I just, I just yes. want to inject something. We talked about it backstage, and I informed Mr. Hagman that he didn't know this, that the theme song, the theme music from I Dream of Genie, you know, the da 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 that was actually one of the biggest hip-hop hits of the modern yeah. era. Will Smith. Will Smith, as Jazzy <laughs> Jeff, Jazzy Jeff the Fresh Prince, Whatever happened sampled to Will that. Smith, yeah, whatever happened to him, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what did he fall off? Oh, huh? yeah. No, he actually sampled that. It was a big hit, his first now. hit. Dino's is his yeah. first hit that blew him up called Girls, Girls in the World and None But Trouble. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we want to thank you. Mr. Hagman, for help, helping build hip hop. Yes. Thank right. you very much. <laughs> Thank you. I, yeah. We both had a wonderful career. I'm about that. Funny where honors come from. <laughs> and we have you and Barbara Eden to thank for it. And, uh, unwittingly. Yeah, unwittingly. Yes. Well, I, saw, I saw Will Smith at an award show a couple of weeks ago, and he kind of got in my face a little bit about some of the things I say here about this music, uh, which I think is great music. Often, I, my problem with it is the bragging. And I don't know what's on here, but I... I, I, I totally agree with you. None of that's on there. Oh, come on. I don't brag at all. I don't brag at all. You don't brag at all. No. Give me a break. Any the, song you can listen to, I don't brag. I, you, I don't, you brag all the time about how about you what? get all the bitches. No, I don't. <laughs> you do, too. Name one song where I talked about getting all the bitches. <laughs> I, 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 I brought some lyrics right here. OK. Uh, from Mac and Two Hoes on a Three-Way, Dominican hoes on B day, country hoes on VA, and they all say wait, the wait, same. Wait, 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 wait! You're talking hoes. I thought you said bitches. About <laughs> every night, a different group of bitches start a fight. Are we talking hoes? Are we talking wait a bitches? Second. I have to clean this up a little bit. Right. But that's a not different really group of bitches start a fight over some penis they don't even own. <laughs> all I'm giving them is the bone. Blowing up <laughs> phone, but ain't nobody home. <laughs> And that's the truth. But, but then you the got, truth. he got, he kind of I mean, it, it, that, that, that was the truth. <laughs> you know, that, that was the truth at the time, you know what I'm saying? And, um... It's I'm not going to be the truth tonight? No. Hey, hey. <laughs> but I, that, that's like my second album. I know, but come on. You know, that's a couple of years ago, you know? Yeah, well, I'm sorry, I'm not up to this one yet, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, some, of your, exactly. some of your favorite, some of your favorite rap artists, it's, it's almost inherent, it's almost inherent in the music. As, as Dee knows, coming up, the whole rap thing, was, it was all about competition. It was about who's better. And, and that kind of naturally flowed in the music, I mean, through yeah. all our music. But, I mean, I didn't say I was, I was gonna, I'd have had all the hoes, that's not but really I'd say bragging. I was the best dancer or something like that. That's not really bragging. You know, yeah. That's not bragging. Nah, that's not bragging, man. That's, that's, that's within the perimeter that of the truth. That was his reality at the, the time. Exactly. Yes. It I ain't know. bragging if you really do it. Exactly. <laughs> that's right, that's right. But, 
what what Will was talking to me about was what I was saying was I thought that this was bad for kids because people always say rap is bad for kids because of the violence and the women's. And I think I don't the violence. I don't think it's going to make kids be violent. Whatever they women. I don't. Any think, new form of music is violent and, and, and wrong oh, for yeah. the kids. You know, it's happened. No, but, 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 but there never was a music but, that had this ego. Yeah, but honestly, honestly, the, the great thing about rap is look, there's that element that you talk about guys bragging you can't about really stuff. Say the stuff music that they don't has even this have. Ego. But rap is it's so broad. Artists in the music who have done well have that ego. Sure. Oh, and, but they do you that, know, but it, other it, people do different a few. things. Select a few, and they, and they talk about this. You other know, people do different this, things. Other. other people that's, do that's, jazzy that's, rap. That's not what rap is about. It's you not know? the only thing rap that rap is, is about. Rap is life. Rap if you live it, you can talk about it. Well, rap used to be about letting white people know what it was like in the black world, and that was a good thing. No, rap is about letting everyone know what it's like everywhere. Well, some of them knew. Because rappers come some... from everywhere. You know, it's not just in the black world, you know, where they come from. They come yeah, from not anymore. right over here. They come from Beverly Hills. They come from Compton. They come from all yeah. over the place. You know what I'm saying? They do? Yeah. Yep. Which you'd ones come? You'd be surprised which, which, how which many ones kids approach from... me talking about, listen, I'm trying to rap, and, and I'm looking at this kid. I'm like, you know, no way he looks like a rapper. But, you know, he's trying to do his thing, and may God bless him. You know? Well, I, I never heard of one from Beverly Hills. Uh, well, he might not uh, shout out Beverly Hills once he gets famous, <laughs> <laughs> you know? but, but that's where he's from, you know? I've seen, I've seen plenty of them. You, I, I mean, really? I, I, I mean, I think what you're trying to... That, that's just not the only voice of rap. There, there's that bragging element. There's that. Yeah, there's gangster. There's, different... there's Christian rap. You know, there's, there's jazzy rap. There's happy there's, rap. There's, there's, there's dance storytelling. Rap. Yeah, there's you know, all different kinds, there's, and that's um, the thing. The positivity, you know? Some people yeah. speak strictly on positivity. Look at Common. Well... Nothing about, you know, nothing but positivity. Tom you know Petty said? said it was the most truthful form of music in years. Yes. That it is truthful. Yeah. Because pop music was all about kissing women's ass, I'm gonna be with you forever, and this music was all about back that ass up right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and that is truthful. Exactly. <laughs> Mon Monica. It is truthful. <laughs> Monica, Monica, Monica threw this whole last yeah. thing talking about smoking and rap music and backing that ass up. She says, look, I'm not backing my ass up for none of you guys, all right? I'm fair and balanced, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I got a fair and balanced. Oh my! Well, you've been yeah. strangely silent, Monica. That's well, all I'm you saying. No, I'm not well, sure I what I. Why? <laughs> yeah. Do you, do you to rap? No, you know I really don't. I, you know, I listen to sort of the pop versions well, of rap music, like uh, Will Smith, kind of. You know, when he was still doing rap music. But Will Smith is music. rap, just yeah. like DMX Absolutely. is rap. Uh, just, oh. <laughs> uh, it's, it's. we not? It's, it's a new category. I'll, I'll call it pop rap. Okay. Yeah. But what and also, going, it's but, not but, rap but I, I, like, I'm like he started with. I'm kind of in it's that. It's not rap like I'm doing now. It's not right. rap what it should be. Right. This is rap. This, thing, mean? Is, this thing is rap. There's a lot of different pieces to it. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, but what, rap Smith still has you, its own, you know what I'm saying? Then you got the little things that are on the outside of rap. You yeah, know? Yeah, that, that, that's, that, true. That, well, that's true. Here, here's my problem. They call with, Destiny Child rap. rap on some joints. There's no, that's not rap. You know what I'm saying? They make good because it appeals to a black audience. It's rap. It's not. It's all it's about crap. It's all about <laughs> ego. It's no, no, all no. about crap most of it is about <laughs> ego. And, about and what I'm crap. getting, how much I'm getting, and my new car, yeah. and then they win an award, and it's all about Jesus and but you God. You can't, you can't, you can't. <laughs> then it's you can't all about say they. No, they can't say they. You got a few that do that. Yeah, you got a few. A few. A few. Yeah, a few. A few. It's everyone when I turn yeah. on BET at midnight. No, no, a guy, a guy went up well, well, maybe turn on MTV too. A guy accepted his award. He said, "I want to thank you for this award." The same you see on BET if you see him on MTV, and you see him on VH1, then you know you listen to the right one. Bill, Bill, one time I saw a rapper, he accepted an award on behalf of the two most important people in his life. He said, I want to thank you for this sauce award. <laughs> two most important people in my life, Jesus Christ, God Almighty, and my Jewish jeweler, who gave me all the bling. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So if you're talking about what you're getting at is that there may be some hypocrisy here. That if you rap on your albums about you know, know killing cops and and the bitches and the hoes and everything, and then you get on stage and you accept an award and you want to glorify God, that somehow yeah, that's I hypocritical. Know why. It's like Not really. Because what, what, you, what you're actually doing is thanking him for the talent that he gave yeah. you that allowed you to get to the place that you right, got. Oh, you yeah. but, no, it's true. I mean, where all these hoes oh. and bitches just oh. happen to okay. be. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't you? I still gotta get the hoes and bitches. Yeah, I gotta take them.